But if you tell me he wrote the plot, I'll believe you because the plot is shit. Welcome back to my channel and if you're new here, hi, my name is Daniela and I'm very happy to have you here. Um, for today's video, I was thinking of talking about just the worst books that I have ever read, the kind of books I wouldn't want my worst enemy to read because they're just bad. I want to preface this by saying that these are my opinions, this could be your favorite book for all I know, don't know why but it might be, but I personally absolutely hated it, like like nothing about them and I want to talk about it. So yeah, let's get started. So these are all the books that I want to talk about. They're not that many, but they were just bad. So let's get into them. I'm going in no particular order, so this is going to be all over the place. But the first book I want to talk about is Secret Santa. Can you see this? Um, is Secret Santa by Robert Tate Miller and Beth Olsen and apparently this was also an NBC movie for television. How it became a movie I have no idea though it does follow a very Hallmark-like plot so maybe I understand it somehow but still it was a terrible book. This is your typical Christmas movie it talks about Rebecca who's a journalist who just broke up with her boyfriend and goes to this small town to find who that town's secret Santa is. An assignment which, frankly, she doesn't think is real journalism. So she goes there very begrudgingly. Um, she basically hates it. And during this time, I don't know, she finds the joy of Christmas and is somehow enlightened and somehow falls in love with a millionaire. What a shocker. Everyone was surprised. Really, like, it was just a bad book. She's so arrogant. There is absolutely nothing to like about. There is no slow burn. Frankly, the only thing I liked about this book is that the billionaire doesn't fall for her. He kind of does in the end, but not... It's very, like, subtle. Also, this is a very short book, which is, again, why I'm surprised that it got a movie is like 151 pages, which is basically nothing. And yeah, the plot was terrible. Every character is likable, except for the main character, which is the point of the book, to like her. And you can't help disliking her. Like, there is not one good thing about her. I read this um, during the Christmas, to get in the Christmas mood. Didn't help. It was just very, very bad book, and if you come across this, don't pick it up. Just, just watch a Hallmark movie instead. Like, there is nothing redeemable about this. So, this was the first book I just really disliked. I'm going to put them here so you can see, like, all my disliked books. And yeah, let's go to the second one. The second book I want to talk about is Dublin Poems by Hugo Hamilton. Um, this is a book I solely bought because of the cover like look at this it's so beautiful like this blue is gorgeous i had no idea what this book is about maybe that's why i didn't like it but it was just bad is the narration it just felt pretentious like there are so many words but none of them were useful this book basically talks about the author his wife and his two children and um how they live both in London and go back to Dublin, I believe. Um, and it's just, the story itself was fine, but this could have been like a quarter of the book instead of an entire book, because he says nothing. He uses so, so many words just to say nothing. There's so many adjectives and so many just descriptions of things you really don't need to know. and. I don't know, it really wasn't for me. I just, I don't DNF books, like did not finish. But this was one I really came close to DNFing. It's just so boring for me. It, it basically said nothing. So yeah, there's, there's nothing for me to like here. So the second book I really did not like. Third book that I really disliked is The Last Orgy of the Divine Hermit by Mark Laner. 
if if I didn't understand anything from those books, there was no hope for this one. This one I bought solely because of the cover again, and it failed me miserably. It's just very absurd and abstract, I want to say, but the actual thing is that it makes no sense. Okay, so I'll try to describe this book, like what happens in it, but even I didn't really understand it, so it might be slightly bit complicated, but bear with me. So the book starts between like a conversation between a patient and the optometrist because the person went there because they couldn't see clearly. And I thought it was a really interesting idea. Like you have um, very different pages and then the conversation. And at the beginning of the book, but like also in the middle and everything, let me find it. Like throughout the pages, you'd have a text and another text and it's the same text and basically all this the patient reads and the actual story in itself is one that the patient reads from, I don't know, some book in there to uh, so that the optometrist can see if they're seeing properly or not. And it's this story of a father and a daughter that go in a club in Kerman Kinchuk. <laughs> don't quote me on that. Um, in the capital of Chalazia for father-daughter night. And it's just a mess. Like, if you didn't understand anything from me explaining it, that's what you'll get from the book as well. Nothing. Like, nothing makes sense here. And th at some point in the book, there's also, like, self-insert by the author in, in the point that, like, I don't know, his name is mentioned a few times. Felt completely unnecessary, made no sense. But this whole book made no sense. So... It just fit the theme. Again, such a beautiful cover. Like, look at this. I think it's stunning, but I hated it. It was so bad. I just, there is nothing redeeming about this. Nothing, except for the cover. The fourth book. This one will be quick. This is, you're not old, you're just not that young by Harvey Little. This is basically not even a book. I wouldn't call that. It's just a collection of quotes about aging. That's basically what it is. I bought this from a secondhand bookstore. It didn't give a description. It just gave me the cover and the price. And I thought, for this price, the cover looks great. So I bought it. Sometimes I buy books by the cover and it just turns out amazing. I read genres that I would never read ever and it's it's the greatest thing ever not for this one and I'm, I'm, I'm noticing a, a trend this book this book this book and this book I bought because of the cover all of them were terrible <laughs> so the whole buying by the cover is both a blessing and a curse because look at all these books they're terrible but beautiful covers so yeah Going back to this, this was, it's just bad. It feels like a gag gift, like I've talked before in another video. It's just, it's not very good. And there are some facts about old age that make no sense or some jokes that feel very, how do I say this in the nicest way possible? Boomer inspired. And it's just like, it's so bad. Let me give you a quote. The older I get, the older old is by Tom Baker. Okay? And that's what this whole book is. So, would not recommend to anyone. Just do yourself a favor and don't read this. It's a waste of time, really. And now, the last book I'm going to talk about, Username Evie by Joe Sugg. I remember watching Joe Sugg when the whole YouTuber gang was still a thing. Um, like the British YouTubers back in 2013. Um, but this book was just bad. Like, I don't know how much Joe Sugg played a part in this because he clearly didn't draw any of it. But if you tell me he wrote the plot, I'll believe you because the plot is shit. It's, it's so bad. There's nothing good about it. Um, the book centers around Evie. Also, this is a graphic novel, which is why I'm saying art. 
this is graphic novel um the book centers around evie the protagonist she's like an outcast and she has a disabled father um and her father he's on his verge he's on the death's verge he's on the verge of death yes he's on the verge of death um he builds her this computer program that lets her enter into another world where she can just program the people to act how she wants when she entered that world so did her cousin and her cousin messed everything up and evie kind of has to fix it but it just makes no sense like nothing makes sense and she befriends this guy like the popular guy and he helps her but like Five pages on, he betrays her and goes with a cousin and they mess things up. And then at one point she beats the cousin up, but then the cousin falls from a cliff and Evie's like, oh my God, let me help you. And then they're besties. Like, what? She bullied you. What are you doing? Like, I mean, don't let her die, but you can't be best friends. And the most absurd thing about this book as well in the beginning when she comes back from school and she's overwhelmed, does she hide under her blanket? No, she takes everything from the fridge, throws it away, and then gets into the fridge. Like, you could take those things and put them on the table. Do you just buy produce every time you have a panic attack or, like, feel like you need to go in the fridge? Like, how does that make sense? It doesn't. And also there is this nerd guy at the beginning of the book and in the mythical world, like in the online game, he helps her and at the end they kiss and it makes no sense. There is no plot development for them to, like, there should be no romance. And this book has a sequel. I don't know how. It was mainly sold out for Joe's sub popularity because the plot is terrible, horrible. I'm so glad I paid the least I could because again, second hand. But it's so bad. I I don't recommend it. The art is somehow good. Like there are some nice parts. Like I will say the art is quite pretty. There are some pages that I really appreciated. But otherwise like it makes no sense. It's just terrible. So, yeah, I I wouldn't recommend this for anyone. It's just a bad book, really. Like, books without plot, even if the art is okay, they just suck. So those five were my worst books I've read so far. I hope it stays that way and that I don't read any others that I add to this collection of books I hated. Um... But yeah, I mean, if you have any other books that you've read that you thought were terrible, let me know. I kind of want to check them out, but also I want to make sure that I never check them out. That doesn't make sense, but it does for me. So yeah, um, I hope you liked the video. I hope you got some inspiration on what not to read. And I'll see you next time. Leave a like, leave a comment, subscribe, and bye. I just give the earth my soul Hear my thoughts bounce off the walls